Hello, I'm Jack Wood from Planet Eclipse and I just want to discuss with you some um, issues that have been brought to our attention with some of the newer key RF transmitters. I'm just going to run through with you the options with the transmitters uh, and also to try and explain what the problem is and how best to resolve it. Um, if you've got any questions, please contact nick.t at planeteclipse.com um, or check out information on planeteclipse.com or on uh, PB Nation channels. Uh, you'll find up to date information about um, fixes and cures for all kinds of technical issues. Here we're just going to discuss the RF transmitter issues that have been brought to our attention recently. So, what we have here is a combination of different setups. This is the key transmitter with the looms that uh, come supplied with this transmitter. These are what most people are, are currently using to join the RF transmitter um, up to the circuit board of the gun. This piece here is the Eclipse harness. What this does is replace all of this here. Comes off here, plugs onto there. And this, this allows you to plug straight into the dedicated uh, auxiliary port on the Ego 9 and Geo boards. The issue that we've been having is that with this configuration, using the key harness, the newer transmitters, and this only applies to some of the newer transmitters, the new transmitters are, are drawing such a large current simultaneously to the solenoid being actuated because this harness plugs in line with the solenoid. But it's actually causing the circuit board to close down and power itself off. So to recap the issue, the newer circuit board, uh, the, the newer RF boards from key, in this configuration, with the inline system working with the, um, the solenoid, actually draw so much current that it's actually collapsing the supply and causing the circuit board to switch off. If you use the same transmitter with this configuration, with the Eclipse harness, and plug into the dedicated um, auxiliary output, then there's no issue whatsoever. So if you just run through that setup on a gun, if you're using this configuration where your RF transmitter is attached to the little Y piece, Y piece here, plugs into the PCB, the outside of that, plugs into there, and you have this configuration, you have the solenoid output from the circuit board, plug into the Y piece, one end goes to the solenoid, the other end goes to an RF transmitter, again, only the later one seems to suffer from this problem, then you will have a problem with the circuit board turning off. All you need to do in that case, and you want to carry on using your new transmitter, remove the harness, plug the solenoid straight back into the board, into its dedicated port where that's supposed to be, remove the harness completely from the transmitter, attach the Eclipse harness and plug that into the dedicated port on the board, plug the eyes into the dedicated port on the board, and there you have everything that you need to go. That won't cause any issues with any kind of transmitter with that setup.